<laughs> well, Tim, here we are again. We are. Another YouTube moment. We just <laughs> love these, don't we? We do. Now, I think you, you've been getting smarter, haven't you? I've noticed. Oh, I think I have, because look, everybody, I have a new smartwatch. <laughs> <laughs> so now I can see how many steps I'm doing and see how much I'm sleeping at night. <laughs> oh, Tina's absolutely wired with her new toy. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> so, it's wonderful. We thought we would talk about a subject that could be controversial in some respects, but it's been working for us. And um, it's the whole concept of be rich, be, yeah. <laughs> but retire poor. And before we get into that, we would like you, if you're a new viewer to our channel, to please subscribe to our channel. And if you like what we're doing, please give us the thumbs up because it actually really helps us. Doesn't cost you anything, but it helps our channel grow. And if you know somebody who's nearing retirement, maybe you could share our video with them. Yes. I uh, might get a few tips out of it. Anyway, here we are. Ooh, being L rich. Let's be rich, <laughs> but retire poor. It's actually a financial planning strategy. So we, most of our information is going to come from Canada, because that's where we live. Yes. But a lot of uh, different countries will have similar programs to what we have. So hopefully it'll translate to your needs as well. So what does a taxman only see? He only sees income, what you actually earn. For, for us small people who aren't uh, super wealthy. <laughs> So yes, the taxman only sees income. So if you can, if you have capital, if you have a million dollars, say, which is the old adage to retire on, which we don't agree with, but say you've got a million dollars in capital. If you put that into an investment and you didn't draw any income from it and it didn't generate any dividends, so say you bought a million dollars of Facebook or Amazon, they don't pay dividends. Taxman doesn't see any income from it. So you're poor. You don't have any <laughs> income, but you have a million bucks. So Ooh. this is what we're trying to flesh around with this brief video. Yeah, we're really trying to say, if you keep your income low, that's the way to do it, isn't it? It's kind it of like a bit of a secret. When, when we first came to Canada back in the early 90s, um, I worked with uh, a, a, a few people. And one of the things that struck me was it seemed to be very competitive about who was saving the most in their RRSP account or who had the biggest RRSP account. RRSP standing for Registered Retirement Savings Plan. And... So they were putting the money in so they could get a tax credit for their current year's income to reduce the tax, which is fair enough. But all of a sudden in Canada, when you hit 71, you have to convert that into a registered income fund. And then you, you have to take out 5% a year. So if you've got a million dollars in your... Our Ooh, RSP. A lot of money. You You're going to be do. taking 7% of that um, monthly. So we decided um, in the late 90s that the investments were so poor, we would put all our registered retirement savings, monthly savings, into our mortgage. So we paid our mortgage off earlier. Which was great, wasn't it? And in those days, the interest rates were between 5 and 6%. Yeah. So, in effect, paying the debt off, we were earning 5 or 6% on our money. And then when we sold the house, we got the big chunk of cash, didn't we? We did. Which was good. So then uh, along came, what, about seven, eight years ago, along came yeah. the TFSA, which is um, a, a tax-free savings account. Now, you don't get a tax credit on the money you put in there. And you can only put in six and a half thousand a year at the moment. Right. But if you're an adult and you were at the age of 18 when TFAs, TFSAs came in, you can use all that back room 
So that's around $70,000 at the moment. And you're not going to get taxed on that, which is great. No, it's a tax shelter. So yeah. any money that you draw from that, any dividends that uh, are, are generated in there, so say you have a TFSA trading account, um, those dividends are tax-free once so they hit the account. It would be true to say, wouldn't it, Norm, that if somebody was let's say earning around 60,000 a year, mm -hmm. they would probably be better just opening a TFSA and not having an RRSP because it's more beneficial to them, isn't it? It really is too. Yeah. yeah. The, the registered retirement savings plan really helps people who are earning in excess of 100,000, 200,000 a year um, because they're paying tax at the highest rates in Canada. And hopefully in retirement, your income will be less than that in a lower tax bracket. So that is the seesaw effect of that. But for many of us who were just middle income earners, um, it really didn't help us in, other than that immediate tax refund that we would get once a year. But there are lots of other things that are really helping us now, aren't they, Norm? Because now that Norm's turned 65, we officially qualify, well, I should say... T Tina he, can't stop saying that, he, 65, re really he, rubbing it in he here. He <laughs> qualifies for all these different things that are out there. And well, we I, wanted to tell you about things that are available. You might qualify for them and you might not. So this was our... Uh, some years back, we decided to aim to retire poor, <laughs> even though that we had the capital from our house. Yeah. So that has been a strategy for us uh, to keep our income low. And it, it's amazing the programs that you qualify for when your income is uh, just low, but enough to retire on. So some of these programs are there is a free dental program. So it's set up. Yeah, Tina's very envious of me because I applied for the Ontario Dental Program, which is a relatively new thing yes, that's come out. Yes, it's a new thing, isn't it? And lo and behold, I qualified because I'm poor. And I don't get it because I'm not 65 yet. Oh, I but, know. So Norm can go and get his teeth fixed. But For you know free. something, if you had just a couple of fillings a year and a cleaning, that could mount up to a couple of thousand dollars a year. So that's an interesting one. It is. Um, they also have GST programs. Yeah, so we get a, an, an, a, a rebate on uh, the sales tax. So that comes in every month, uh, direct deposit into our bank account. It's not a lot of money, but because it our helps. income is <laughs> being managed to being low, we qualify for it. And then because of that, we get another one. We get the Trillium, the Trillium, which is an Ontario energy credit. Once again, because our income is low. <laughs> and, uh, and because your income is low, you then qualify for a guaranteed income supplement from the government, which is like another little top-up pension. Yeah, so, as well as the OAS, because you get OAS too, don't and you? And CPP. It's, yeah, so you get CPP, OAS, and then there's GIS. It's like, wow, <laughs> it's hitting, like hitting the jackpot. And then we, I, I sort of love reading the red flag forum deals oh, yeah. in Canada. There's this uh, site called Red Flag, and they have a forum, and they have... A section on that forum for hot deals. Well, last month I saw that uh, somebody posted on there that um, Telus Mobility, one of the major cell phone companies in Canada, had just launched a seniors program. So if you were on, surprise, surprise, <laughs> guaranteed income supplement, which good old Norm is on, I qualify for a cell phone plan with a free cell phone with no contract for $25 a month plus tax but that gives me a data a data package of 3 gigs yeah gives unlimited um, nationwide calling unlimited texting, nationwide texting messaging like, so wow. hey it feels cool to be poor <laughs> and it's great because 
they would have either given us a phone or we could have used our existing one. And we were fortunate, weren't we, because our son had given us a phone. So and we were just using it as an iPod, basically, as an iPhone 7. Uh, he'd got an upgrade from his telephone company, his cell phone carrier. Every two years he gets a, a new phone. So he gave it to us, mainly for Tina, because she <laughs> takes pictures on it when we go and travel. So we had this smartphone that we weren't using, so now TELUS has given us a plan that we can afford. Which is great, so we're looking forward to using that. So I, I think we don't want to be as glib saying that if you're genuinely poor, life is difficult and, and you should qualify for all these programs. But because the way governments are at the moment and the taxation, especially in Canada, Retiring poor is a financial planning instrument that you might be able to work for yourself. Yes. That's all that we're saying. So that was our little um, uh, financial, financial moment. Yeah, and finding out things that are there. you just got to go look for them, haven't you? And do you? your research. Yeah. That's why your, your good friend Google is uh, always by our side. <laughs> It is. So thanks for watching. Please stay safe from this uh, pandemic. Oh, yes. We hope you're all well. Yeah, we hope you're all going to have a great weekend. We certainly are. We are. And uh, so bye-bye till next time. Bye-bye.